Hey physics class, so this video is going to be about using the actual acceleration formula. So I have the formula right here. It says acceleration equals VF minus VI over T. So what does each one of these actual letters stand for? What do they, what do they actually mean? So obviously the A is going to be an acceleration. VF is like your velocity final. So what was the velocity that this thing actually ended at in your question? VI is velocity initial, or basically your starting speed. So that could be from rest, or if in the question they were already going a certain speed, that would be the starting speed that they actually start at. So that's velocity initial. And then time, how much time was used in this actual question? How much time did they take to accelerate something? But the time involved in the actual question. All right, so we're gonna do three questions because I kind of want to show you how to do each one of the manipulations of algebra here. So we'll do one question where we're trying to find acceleration, we'll do one where we're trying to find time, and we'll do one where we're trying to find one of these VIs or VFs. We'll probably find the VF in this, in this instance, okay? So let's go through a question. Let's go through a question. Basically, we're going to say um, there was a car. It was driving down the street at an original speed of 10 kilometers an hour. So we'll go with 10 kilometers an hour as the initial speed. It then sped up all the way to 50 kilometers an hour. So our VF is 50, we'll go km per hour, km per hour, and let's say it took this car three seconds to do that. So three seconds. All right, so what we have here is let's just plug it into actual like what it looks like in the formula. So we have our VF, our VI, and our T, so we have what we actually is, acceleration equals velocity final, VF, minus 10 and then over three seconds. So now algebraically this is pretty easy. Let's just do our top first. So 50 minus 10 is 40 divided by three. And when you do, which I'm gonna do on my little calculator here. Well, that's not a calculator. Where's my calculator? There's my calculator. When I go 40 divided by three, you get 13.3. So 13.3 is these actual acceleration. So we're going to say meters per second, sorry, kilometers per second squared. Okay, I think that's actually kilometers per hour per second. We'll get the units down eventually. Not too worried about the units just right now. Um, we'll, we'll kind of figure that out as we go. But uh, there's one question one. So no real algebra there. It fits in nicely to your formula. So that one's not making too much a problem. Let's do a different problem where we have to do actually a little bit of algebra. So let's say now we're given acceleration, you have to figure out the time. So let's say you're a, um, you're a skier, okay? So you are um, going down the hill and you start at a nice easy bunny hop speed of two meters per second. So our velocity initial is two meters per second. And let's say that you had an acceleration, you were speeding up by this much each second. So let's say you're speeding up by three meters per second every second. So every second you're speeding up by three. So another three, another three, every second. So that's your acceleration. Three meters per second squared. Now let's say you do this for nine seconds going down the hill. Sorry, wrong way. Let's say, let's say that you ended up at a speed of 27 meters per second. Okay, so that nine's not there. We'll forget about that. Um, you finish at a speed of 27, 27 meters per second. So at the bottom of the hill, they clocked you going 27 meters per second, which is quite fast. In kilometers per hour, that'd be close to 90. So you're, you're cruising at this point. Okay, I want to know the time. I want to know how much time it took for you to get to that speed. Because we have the acceleration, we have what you've started to finish at, so we can figure out that time. So let's plug it in here. Now that we have an acceleration, we're gonna we're start with that. We have three meters per second equals we have our 27 minus 2, our VF, our final velocity, minus our initial, and then over time. We don't know time yet. Okay, there's our question mark. So what can we algebraically do first? Well, first we can kind of get rid of the minus on top. So we're going to have 3 equals 25 over 2. 27 minus 2 is 25. And now we have to, well, I don't know why the 2 is there. Making some mistakes. Here we go. There's our T. Now what do we do algebraically? So what you have to do is you have to get rid of the t out of this equation. So when something is on the bottom, it's divided by, algebraically to get rid of it, you have to multiply. So we can multiply the t out, so multiply the t out, this cancels out, and the t comes over here. 
Because whatever you do to one side, we have to do this side. So now we kind of have a 3t, and this is gone. Okay, it's just 25 on this side. If I want to get t all by itself, I have to divide. Right now it's multiplying. It's 3 times t. I have to divide. So we divide, and the 3 comes over here as well. Okay, and so it ends up looking like this. So there's the algebra involved. I, I, here's the quick way of doing it, though. So if you go back to what it did look like beforehand, it looked like this. We had a 3 over here and a t here. If you ever have a variable, just, just a letter here, if you ever have a variable or an unknown on the bottom and you have just one value on the other side, the nice thing is we can always just switch and flip these. These can just automatically switch and flip. And I showed you how it worked. We multiplied here, brought it over here, divided 3, brought it down. So it works. Just this is the easy way to think of it. Whenever you have a variable at the bottom and something over here, we're going to switch them. So let's just switch them right away. We're going to switch. The t comes over here. The 3 goes right there. And now it's pretty simple. To find our time, all we got to do is just go 25 divided by 3. So 25 divided by 3. And we get an answer of 8.33. So our time here took 8.33 seconds. So there's our answer to that question. There's a the little algebra that you have to use there. OK, one last question. Let's go to the velocity final. Let's see what we've got to get here. OK, so one last question here. Let's say that uh, you have an acceleration of 5. OK, you're going at an acceleration of 5 meters per second. So that's how much you're going to accelerate. So maybe you're in a, you're in, let's say you're on a bike. OK, we're going to have a ridiculously fast bike here, but that's OK. And you're accelerating at 5 meters per second every second. That's how much you're speeding up by. Okay, let's give you a, a starting speed of just 8 meters per second, which isn't that fast. Okay, that's a nice little bike ride. That's, that's going pretty fast. And let's say you speed up for 4 seconds. Okay, so you have one big massive burst. Okay, so you're starting, you're just kind of need, leisurely going up. Maybe you see the ice cream truck ahead of you and you really want to get there. So yeah, take a nice big acceleration for four seconds to try and speed up to it. Okay, so we gotta find our VF here. All right, so let's put this into our formula. So we have five equals VF. We don't know our VF right now. VF equals unknown. Sorry, we do have our VI though, which is eight. And we have time, which is four. So that's how it looks at the start. Now let's actually get our algebra into here. So how do we do algebraically this? Well, we're going to get rid of that 4 first. If we want to get VF all by itself, right now this minus is, there's two things on top. So we, we can get rid of the bottom though by itself. So it's divided by, let's multiply, get rid of that, multiply the other side. So now 5 times 4. We get 20 equals VF minus 8. To get that VF all by itself, let's get rid of that minus 8. So we do the opposite, plus 8, plus 8. So our VF, our velocity final equals 20H meters per second. So there's kind of the, the three algebraic ways of using this formula and going through this. Um, we're going to try and get used to using this, these algebraic ways because in our next unit, linear kinematics, we're going to have more algebra in the sense of this, they're bigger formulas. Um, but just going through the basic rules of how to kind of manipulate and how to move through it is kind of going to be important. So hope this video helps uh, and good luck with the questions on the sheet. Thanks guys.